Welcome at the booth here at uh, the JEC, the seed booth. We've uh, come far again this year because we're showing uh, a few different tools from, uh, from customers like Total Machining Solutions in the UK, Layup in California, uh, Netcom in the Netherlands and also Ellen Harper Composites in, uh, in Brazil. Three out of those four uh, companies actually only adopted the technology last year and now have already uh, shown the benefits and, and we're very proud that we can share those tools here on the booth uh, during the JEC. What we have here is an autoclave tool produced by Leia Parts in California. They've had a printer of ours since July and we've been supporting them with our customer success program, ramping up their production as well as their knowledge on additive manufacturing. We've been supporting them designing, but also looking at slicing and just optimizing their workflows. This part has been solely produced by them, solely designed by them, and solely post-produced by them. And uh, yeah, we're really proud, uh, proud to see the parts like this here today. So we're standing here next to, uh, to a mold we printed. We produced this mold for a company called Fiberbus. They invested in one of our uh, machines. Traditionally, they make these molds out of uh, fully by hand. Uh, we printed this mold fully autonomously. We printed it and we milled it. It took, uh, took around 20 hours to complete. So the mold has been produced with uh, material from Polymaker. They make great materials. And this specific material is, uh, is a PETG with glass fibers, fibers in there. And it's, uh, it's ideal for uh, hand layer tooling. We're on uh, GEC and we brought some applications from our customers. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this uh, piece here, which is a trimming and uh, drilling fixture. Um, this replaces a traditional process, which would normally encompass aluminum blocks or tooling blocks being blocked off, glued together. Uh, then you have to wait for the glue to dry, which takes a long time, and then the heap of material has to be milled away. So this replaces that traditional process. Using additive manufacturing reduces the lead time with 20% and the costs around the same amount of percentage compared to traditional uh, processes. So today I would like to introduce you the mold. That's this one is a trimming tool that has been printed by Seed in partnership with AES and Aerotech. We printed this uh, trimming jig uh, in 15 hours and milled it so from the different classes in 6 hours. This tool has been printed with the T100GF from Airtex, so that's a PTG with glass fiber and the purpose of this mold is a trimming tool. So basically the composite tool is placed on top and then trimmed with a robotic arm. We are here with the last part uh, of the selection. Uh, you can see a part for pattern for boats and for hulls. As you can see, there is the different steps of uh, the generation of the mold. Here we have the 3D printed uh, shape. Uh, then we have the milling uh, shape. And we have uh, at the end uh, the sealing for the composite part. Instead of uh, adding all the blocks and to mill them, we are now uh, able to print and directly use the mold instead of making a mold to produce the end part. 